when we were about one week into it, I said to Sarah and Bill, uh, we're going to lose so much money on this. We, we were exhausted, but we agreed that we had to do it. There was no thought of backing out. When we got through with the story and sent it in, we got a check for $500 instead of 400 The editor had seen fit, for reasons of his own, to give us an extra 100 bucks. Why, yes, certainly we were paid. You don't do magazine stories for nothing, although I have done some. Senator, I'm afraid... Yeah, uh, let me answer that first. Senator, uh, what you say shows that you have no knowledge whatsoever of how freelance people work and everything. You are saying that every magazine story that has ever been written is a biased story because somebody got paid to do it. Particularly when you use terms like the 3012 or 39 or something. Uh, we didn't coin those words. Right. Fly by night newspapers. To me, that's slanted. All right. Mr. Stern, would you like to respond to I that? certainly would. Would you uh, support Mr. Stern? I do. I do. Yes, uh, my name is William Saren. I've been a reporter for the Free Press since the March of 1966. Before that, I worked for the Toledo Blade briefly. Before that, I worked at Saginaw for the Saginaw News for about nine months. And before that, I worked a year for Booth Newspapers, which is the outstate chain. Uh, I want to begin by saying this. Uh, you are, the two senators here are suggesting that we have not proven collusion. 